Hello there. Today we are going to be checking how I did this graffiti style drippy lettering in Adobe After Effects. By Hulk 79. So everybody ready? Let's go and create a new composition. And this is going to be my letter. And let's say that I want to play it with 1920 per 1080 in this case, not a square format. Uh, there we go. The second thing that, that we need is a layer, in this case a solid, can work for us. Okay, and this is going to be the container for our graffiti style animation. So if now we click twice here on this layer I'm inside this layer so that means that here I have the composition and in this other tab tab I have like yeah I'm inside the layer so to say so now it is a matter of selecting the brush here okay and this is not as interesting as in for example Photoshop that we can import uh, a lot of different brushes but here it is more limited in a way, but I think it's going to be enough to have a lot of fun. So you can go directly and select one here, but after select selecting it, I can play with all these aspects of, you know, of it. And then obviously I can play here with the color. I'm going to leave it at black and you know, all these aspects. I'm going to start just drawing. The only thing that I need to set right now is the duration to write on, okay? So let's go to the beginning of the timeline and let's start writing, okay? And if you move here, you can see how it kind of recorded what I did in, in real time, so to say. So if I click U to show my keyframes, you can see that inside the layer we have this track that we can move around, okay? And then we can even like move the keyframes or even convert them into easy. and this kind of stuff, okay? So this is pretty cool. And you see that here it, it creates these straight lines and that's because whenever it is too fast, it, it, starts, it starts doing that. So my advice is that let's get rid of this. I select it and I erase it just like that. Uh, I'm going to start again and it is best to uh, be a little bit slow because everything is going to be smoother, okay? I'm going to move it here. But then if I hit U, I can put things together or closer so that it is tighter and, and more quicker in terms of the, of the pace of it. So also any of these, I'm going to make this bigger. If you open, for example, if you remember let's say uh, the, the first brush, it was the, the S here. If I open it, you can see that I can change any of these as aspects or specifications, for example, the diameter or the color. I can even like animate the color, for example, like this, turning red into, let's say, green. And that's simply amazing how flexible this is. Uh, and you know, if you you are not happy with anything, you just erase it and start again. So it is a very flexible si system uh, in a way, you see. Also, let's check another aspect of this. If you go to paint, uh, you can have the option or set it so that it paints on transparent. And if I go back here with the tap to the composition, you, you see how, how this, this works. 
so I think this is pretty amazing okay so the next thing that I'm going to the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start giving the this a little bit of more of a visual character so that it feels more more like a real thing so I'm going to start just opening the effects and presets window and I'm going to give it a little bit of a rough and edges that's the effect that I'm looking for here I'm going to apply it to the layer okay and this feels really nice and then maybe let's say I'm going to f create a fill so that it has one color and I con can control the color like this I'm going to add also like a fast blur something like this and I'm going to add also like uh, noise but uh, noise alpha and you are going to see how cool this is because I can make it so that if you go here it is only on the edges so this is going to start feeling like real graffiti so that's very cool and uh, maybe you are wondering how I did the the drippy aspect of this you know these uh, these drops these painting drops that are going down so that was just you know some uh, shape layers in this case that are only made from stroke and then trim paths a trim paths animation so that it starts uh, growing in a way so I created one and then it's a matter of duplicating it and or moving it into another place uh, like synced with the animation of the writing of the letter so that's that remember that I have this uh, buy me a coffee page that you have you have the link here in the description below I hope you found this tutorial useful uh, peace and see you in the next one Kinetic Type Series by Hulk 79.